Okay, good. And I'm going to do the same thing on your toe, okay? So I'm holding it on each side, and this will be up, and this will be down, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Down. Down. Up. Up. Down. Up. Okay, good. Okay, so that's our position then. Now we're going to go into our discrimination test. So we're going to do stereog um, gnosis, and I'm going to put a little object in your hand, and I want you to try to identify what it is, okay? Close your eyes. Okay, very good. Now keep your eyes closed again. I'm going to put one in the other hand. Okay, so that's our stereognosis for object identification. Now I'm going to take um, the back of my reflex hammer. I'm going to draw a number in your hand, and I want you to tell me what number I'm drawing, okay? Three. Good. Two? Very good. Okay. Now we're going to do two-point discrimination. And um, this can be abnormal even in, um, in a patient who um, has no injuries um, or abnormalities. But I'm going to place um, my hand. This is going to this is going to be two. This is going to be one. Okay. I want you to close your eyes and tell me um, if I'm touching you in two places or one place. Okay. Is that it here? Here. No, I'm sorry. Oh. Actually, okay. <laughs> sorry. No, that's okay. So you, as you can see, it can be, um, it's, it's a very crude test and I never did it anyway. <laughs> um, it's a little, kind of a waste of a time if you ask me. I think I did it one time in my entire, whatever, however long, seven years I was in it. Um, okay, and then point localization. This is a very crude test. We kind of already did it with um, the, the light touch, but it's basically, I'm just going to, I'm going to touch you in one of your arms or legs, and I want you to tell me where I'm touching you, okay? Close your eyes. So, it's, that's kind of a crude test, too, and honestly, I really never did that one either. Okay, so this one we always do. I'm going to let you put your um, shoes back on. Let me make sure I don't need to take them off again. Um, 